All right, Fiona, Fiona just loves dancing, and she doesn't realize when we come back, but uh, all good. So, Kevin and Roman, please say hi to our guests or to our, our audience, and you guys are from NVIDIA. Let's, let's talk about some fraud detection. Yeah, let's do it. Jeff, Fiona, thanks so much for having us. And I have to say, uh, being on Twitch is like a milestone moment because everybody in my household is so confused, particularly the teenagers and the cat. They're like, how did you get on Twitch? So... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for hosting us and giving us the opportunity. Uh, well, thanks for being here with us. Of course. And then Roman, I think we're probably keeping you from a beer garden or something in, in Germany. So, Yeah. Uh, going going to the sneak peek, it's, uh, there's a sneak peek up at 10 o'clock, so I'll be catching that. Uh, let's see if I get time. <laughs> So we're, I mentioned fraud detection, and it looks like there's a partnership between AWS and NVIDIA. Can you kind of give us some background on you know, why this is important and what's happening? Yeah, of course. So I sit on our financial services industry team. Uh, NVIDIA has kind of been imbued through the conversation to this point. Benjamin was talking about game lift, and of course, you saw the NVIDIA GPUs there from a streaming standpoint. And then you had Jeff talking about Bedrock, where, of course, through the Bedrock Marketplace, you can get access to NVIDIA NIMS, which are inference microservices for generative AI. And while we sit in financial services, NVIDIA serves every industry because we are an accelerated computing platform company. And we do that through great partners like AWS. In the context of financial services, one of the key areas for using AI is to fight fraud. And okay. there are multiple types of fraud across the financial services ecosystem. Uh, one of them would be, of course, identity verification and people trying to launder money and doing other nefarious things. And one of the other primary fraud types across e-commerce and payments in general is transaction fraud. And so we've teamed with AWS to build an end-to-end -end workflow that helps the world's leading financial services firms, banks, credit card issuers, payment companies build and deploy AI-enabled fraud detection systems that help them fight the bad actors and provide a safer environment for all of us on our financial journey. That's awesome. I want to shout out, we have someone who says they're here for the first time. This looks like a cool stream. Thanks for joining us today. And Kevin, you mentioned that AWS and NVIDIA are working together on this initiative. I was wondering, is there any way you can kind of give us a view into what is it that AWS is doing? What is it that NVIDIA is doing? Sure. Uh, and we'll show it in more detail when Roman gets to the demo, but at a high level, you know, what we've done is we've taken, you know, the gr greatness of NVIDIA's software capabilities and paired that with our hardware, which are sitting in AWS instances to enable the workflow that you see on the screen. And the idea is that there are three major steps when you think about AI workflows. There's data preparation, model training, and then inference or deployment. And in combination with AWS, we're accelerating all three phases. So you can get the data prepared in a much shorter time horizon. You can train your models more quickly. And then when they're operating in deployment or at inference, they're running in you know, sub 20 millisecond, low latency environments. So that when we swipe our card or enter it for a e-commerce transaction, the fraud checks are happening on the background by the world's leading payment companies nearly instantaneously, but the size and sophistication of the models has been able to grow significantly by using AWS plus NVIDIA, which means we're finding more bad actors and we're protecting all of the good guys from having their transactions stopped. Yeah, and I think it's something we've all had a little bit of experience with and we all kind of like, what do you mean my, my credit card was denied because I'm buying a handbag somewhere and I don't normally, but then in a way, you kind of like buy his handbags in more places. It was like, wait, I'm glad that they found that. And even though it was a false positive, like I'm glad they're seeing things like that. So it's sort of like a irritated, but like you know what? I'm I'm glad this happened because there are sometimes where it's real when it comes up. So yeah, real uh, fraud. Roman, I I think we want to see this in action. Can we can we see a little demo of this fraud prevention? Sure, I can. Uh, let me let me just jump into. It. So we, we've we've put together everything in in a GitHub repo here. Um, okay. So you're able to play around with it as well on your end. Um, keep in keep in mind that uh, we really try to kind of push push the uh, the GPUs to it to its limit at least the ones that we've used here. Uh, so it might take, um, especially on the CPU, it might take some time uh, to run the initial um, data preparation step. 
So how how we've built it up is, is as follows. Um, maybe maybe as a kind of as a primer. Um, so the reason it, it's it's really nice to work together with AWS on this is that we we can really kind of combine our two strengths. So AWS is really nice in in terms of how you can um, modularly set up your workflow. It's it's very flexible in how you want to set up your end to end pipeline. And um, right out of the box, you can just spin up instances. Um, and use GPUs, so it has support for GPUs. Uh, whereas um, NVIDIA has a couple of libraries, it's, it's, it's more than just GPUs, so you have software on top of the GPUs that are specifically designed to run on NVIDIA GPUs. Um, and one of these packages is Spark Rapid, so it's kind of like if you have Spark code, then the, there's a, a Rapids accelerator for Apache Spark that we've used here. Um, it's very easy to use, so what you need to do is kind of to firstly install the plugin uh, and then just say that you want in the configuration settings want to use this plugin. Um, so I'm not going to go into too much detail into the code, but um, this is one thing that I wanted to highlight that is, is essentially just a plugin change. Um, and then you end up with a data set. And what we ended up here with a data set that is around, around about 1.6 terabyte. This then feeds into the next step, which is, um, as you can see, sort of model training, uh, our XGBoost model training. So there's some minor changes uh, to the data set, kind of just dropping some of the features. Um, so nothing nothing too exciting happening here. So I'm going to straight go into the XGBoost part. Same here, XGBoost package already exists, and um, there's a CPU version to it and a GPU version. And we can see that all you need to do, essentially, um, so we've run it once on have a GPU job and a CPU job in order to compare the two approaches. And um, here you have the trainer. And as you can see, the only thing that we need to uh, change here is to run it on, run the GPU histogram. Um, and that is it, essentially. Use a GPU or use a CPU. That is the one flag that we need to change. And then uh, underneath the hood, uh, the code remains the same. Last step here is the um, inferencing part. So one, once you've done training your model, you'd send it over to uh, Triton. So uh, this is another package by, um, from us. It's a Triton inference server, so you can use it for large language models, but there's also a backend for forest inference. So this is the backend that we're using here. And um, just jumping up to the to the last part of it, as you can see here, you just need to kind of say what on what device do you want to run this inferencing on. And here you specify to run it on either CPU or GPU. And um, there's a bunch of other uh, optimizations under the hood. So you have dynamic optimizations. And then also, depending on how um, the requests come in, there's dynamic batching there. Um, but the upshot of everything is, as you can see, so after running once the CPU and the GPU model, we see quite a big uplift in, in terms of throughput. So there's a um, 3x in increase improvement over just using um, the Triton inference server on on uh, um, CPU. And there's, as we see with, with customers, a lot of the times is that they have big problems with data processing. That's a large step and the inferencing part. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so just, just kind of quick comparison. So the instances are almost similar. Um, even the CPU is a bit more expensive than the GPU. Um, but since you're using the GPU for a much shorter amount of time, um, you're, you'd be not only running your model faster, um, but also on bigger data set, better model, and uh, with the cheaper uh, cost as well. All right, I'm hearing a couple words here that I know mean a lot to our audience. Uh, audience, let me know if you know which words I'm talking about here, but what I heard was faster and I heard cheaper. Um, so we're, when we're thinking faster, how much faster are you talking? And when we're thinking cheaper, how much cheaper are we talking? Yeah, great question. So um, faster is we've run an end-to-end -end, uh, 14x faster um, and uh, cheaper by 8x. And let me see, maybe I even have the part to it that's, uh, that's here. Um, yeah, so there's uh, the end-to-end -end comparison. So data engineering, as you can see, there's a big, big, big improvement um, over curating the data set, uh, feature engineering, pre-processing steps. Um, this, in comparison to the data engineering, doesn't seem as much anymore, but it, it, it really is a big improvement, especially. So what we didn't do here is the hyperparameter optimization. If you include that, there's going to be a big improvement here as well. And then the lower cost, because you're just running your instances for a short amount of time. That's awesome. So what I'm seeing here, and I we have a couple um, people in the chat who are just joining us right now. Thank you for being here. And they're saying, what is this? 
We're um, this is AWS on air. We're talking about a um, partnership between AWS and NVIDIA to do some fraud detection. And like you just said there, um, that has the capacity to make things 14 times faster and eight times cheaper. This unfortunately does bring us to the end of our time. Kevin and Roman, thank you so much for being here with us today and um, demonstrating this to us. Do you have any final words for our audience before you go? Just thanks for having us and uh, please give the AWS NVIDIA fraud detection platform a shot. Absolutely. Thank you, Kevin and Roman.